because the sun shrooms actually only cost 25 instead of 50 but to me it's only useful in the really early game because then you don't have enough money to get the to get the sunflowers but since the early game isn't really that challenging I can wait for another sun and then the sunflowers give you uh, 25 gold where the uh, sun shrooms only give you 15 gold early game then eventually they'll grow into uh, bigger sun shrooms and they will give you 25 but since the cooldown is the basic uh, problem in this game so as you can see it's recharging most of the time uh, it's not going to be very useful to have a cheap land with a large cooldown because well you can afford it but you cannot plant it because it's on cooldown so a lot of the free mushrooms here and now I can uh, get some money for my first shooter my first uh, repeater and it's time to eat some graves I guess because there's a lot of graves and you want to finish that before the level ends so second repeater already and uh, still no real zombies on the on the field the first big wave is coming in in uh, well about a minute I guess you can see from the right a uh, bottom ri right uh, well, bar where you are in the level, and the red flags are the huge waves as they uh, they are announced. They're really not that huge yet. <laughs> They're going to be a lot worse in later games. It's also the reason why I'm not using the. Uh, walnuts as much as I can because I really don't need to so here's the first huge wave and it's like 10 zombies so it's not that bad plus there's no real scary zombie yeah I removed the wrong plant there those of you actually paying attention I obviously wasn't no, I just removed one of the repeaters setting me back 200 gold or sun and um, now I have to replace it and that was really stupid but since I have enough sunflowers it doesn't really matter I'll have 200 gold no problem Your Grave Buster can get eaten by the way, and if it gets eaten you don't get to destroy the grave, obviously, and you don't get gold, obviously. So you want to place it uh, in a, I on a grave where with no zombies on it. So I just got really lucky in the with the last one. But I can afford to be lucky. I have plenty of suns. So the last grave. Uh, this zombie uh, that you see next to the grave is already past it, so it's not going to eat my plant. And now all the graves have been eaten, so I have the complete field to myself again. And I can build whatever. But it also means that the Grave Buster has become useless. 
So a huge wave is approaching again, and I'll probably throw a doom shroom at it. And uh, yeah, there goes about half the wave. And I'll clean up the rest. So on to level 10 of the nighttime levels. So the last uh, level here. And as you can see, they gathered all the different kinds of zombies to uh, to annoy me. And they have a lot of graves. So the scare these rooms on the left side of the screen. I'm using the grave eating eaters as soon as I can on the graves that are well on the left to the left. And all of the reset buttons, so the Doom Shrooms, the Hypno Shrooms and the Ice Shrooms, I'm going to save for the last possible uh, moment. Because I don't really need them at the moment. And when I do need them, they blow up half the screen. Well, the Doom Shrooms. So I'm going to use them for, that, for doing just that. For killing half the screen and not just killing one zombie. Because I can use the other ones for that. Well, the zombie with the cone on his head, I'm not going to kill him with just one of the small shrooms. So I'm going to use one of the hypno shrooms on him. And he's going to kill uh, yet another zombie. So that's good. Killing graves as much as, uh, and as soon as I can. Because once one of the big waves uh, comes to my uh, town, I'm going to want to uh, have as as many, well, uh, uh, as little graves as I can. I want to remove all the graves as soon as I can, basically. And I'm just, uh, yeah, putting the, the mushrooms and the, the shooters wherever I can. However, I think that they will be useful. And since I have plenty of escapes, I can, yeah, I can do whatever I want. So two lanes still aren't very well protected, the top lane and the third lane. But I'm not uh, really afraid of zombies getting through them. I have plenty of escapes. So using a doom shroom there, just for the fun of it. I have plenty of uh, of everything. There you can see how big the range is. It blows up all five lanes. And um, yeah, it's it's really easy to blow up a whole wave of zombies with them. You just let them move forward a little bit, and you can uh, blow up uh, the entire screen. Like this. But now I have three craters there, and they will start to heal eventually, but it'll take a long time. So this football player, I'm uh, putting a hypno shroom because I know that my uh, my plants won't be able to kill him, but if I plant them, uh, or if I hypnotize him when he's on the right side of the screen, he's going to just walk off the screen, and now he can kill the other football player or whatever was following him. So now I actually get some value out of him, and he should be able to win this fight with the help of my uh, my plants. So he does, well, he actually, he kills two zombies and uh, then he gets killed. But the lane is safe, and that's the most important thing. So I hypnotized uh, another, uh, I hypnotized another uh, zombie with the shield on him. And now I have to start using some of the reset buttons because I have too many of them. <laughs> I have a whole 
Yeah, I saved all of them except for some Doom Shrooms. And a few Hypno Shrooms, but... Yeah, I haven't lost a single plant except for... Well, a single important plant. Maybe I've lost one of the small mushrooms. But they don't really matter to me anyway. So, what you want to do with this level, obviously, is wait with spending your resource till the last possible moment. And that's the same in every game. And it's also the same in StarCraft. You want to build workers uh, before you build anything else. And the more workers you can make, the more money you'll get. But you, d you want to spend your money on forces only when you need to. And I guess it's the same with... Uh, with any other game. So if you have a st something strong uh, going for you, then you want to use it, but only as a last resource. So, a huge wave of zombies, and I have three Doom Shrooms, <laughs> plus several other, uh, well, big things. I'm going to blow up whatever I can and be done with this level. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. As you can see, we get a lily pad, and the lily pad is going to help us with the next levels, which have water in them. So, on to the backyard. I'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you liked the video, and um, I'll see you next time. GG.